Yo, somebody Top said somebody said to us the other day. They said, um, thank you for bringing that up about Mike not liking black people. Somebody sent that to the DM. You seen that? Michael. They didn't Mike know Tyson. That? They didn't know that. No, no, no. He was saying people don't talk about that enough. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. He was he sent the clip of of Mike um being interviewed by Keenan. Okay. Right? Remember Keenan and Kel? Mm-hmm. I don't know which one of them niggas is what, so I'm it's gonna say Keenan and Kel. Keenan. Oh, I saw Keenan that. Only, got, only when that still got, got like aggressive really. with him and shit, right? Yeah, so Keenan and Kel was interviewing. That's Mike not Tyson. lame to do though. With and, Keenan? And Keenan and Kel was a thug, so that nigga held it down. What? Mike was bad, intimidating. He said, um, yeah, I'm a nigga. And he was like, nah, you're not a nigga, man. I respect you. I think you this and that. He was like, how you gonna tell me that nigga? And he said something like, I don't wanna. I'm going to have to paraphrase because I can't Mike is saying that he's a nigga? Mike is saying, I am a nigga. Okay. Keen is saying, nah, you're not a nigga, man. Yeah. You're I'm king and shit. I have more respect for you, king. Grand Risings of the whole shit, whatever mm-hmm. he's saying. <laughs> All that, right? We love it. <laughs> so he's mad, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's not out of fear. And it's not the Keenan that Keenan and Kel that you expect. Because this yeah. nigga Keenan and Kel. Nah, but this nigga Keenan and Kel was holding it down. Like he. This nigga is just Keenan. <laughs> yeah. You keep calling yeah. Keenan and Kel. Yeah, Keenan and Kel was holding it down. <laughs> he wasn't scared at all. Yeah. He was saying, nah, I respect you as a, as more than that, man. You more than a nigga. He said, nah, nigga, I am a nigga. And don't say nothing else about it. Then stop talking about it. Shut the fuck up. And he was like, and the nigga was like, nah, but you're a king because of all the things you've accomplished. Look at all the things you've done. I don't, I'm not going to call you that. I want to dress you as that. I don't believe that about you. He, uh, he's mad, calm, chilling, sitting there, Keenan and Nikhil. And the nigga, um, Mike is like, uh, like kind of flustered by the fact that he didn't like bitch or cower. Yeah. So he was like, nah, you don't know my, what I've been doing. <laughs> what I've been doing yeah. in the dark. Yeah. And Keenan Ken, and Nikhil was like, hold on, my nigga. <laughs> keep the lights on. Keep the lights. So he tell the nigga, yo, yo, keep the lights on, man. Matter of fact, listen, as long as it's light in here, that's why you shine. You can't shine. <laughs> He said something. You can't be dark without the light. Yeah, yeah, something. Or some shit like that. It was some fly shit he yeah. said or whatever, and it fucked Mike up because, you know, Mike is thinking of a big-ass word, and he wants to punch the nigga in his face because <laughs> it's kind of like, first of all, I don't fuck with you niggas, and that's just why I don't do interviews with black people. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can see I'm it. I'm about to go back to Joe Rogan right now. Y'all niggas right talk. now. And you see how giddy he be around white Yo, folks? he be mad gleeful around them. Very he good. said, yeah, Holy all I know is I just, uh, and I fucked the bitch, and then we was in there, and we was wilding, and <laughs> he, he be, be mad, mad like, Evil. I'm like, dog, why you do all of that? And the black niggas, he there, yeah. <laughs> Smoke the toad, you bitch ass nigga. Niggas <laughs> kill somebody in this shit. <laughs> right? He's like, yeah, in Brownsville, I'm just a dirty yeah. nigga. And I stink <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you watch <laughs> If you watch him. He said, yeah, I'm just a scoundrel. I'm just a dirty scumbag nigga. And I be fucking mad bitches and shit, raw dog. <laughs> then I go in the crib. Don't even wash off hit wifey too. I'll be wild. Like that's how you that's how you be. Uh, that's, that's how you bitch. <laughs> That's how he behaves every time he's around a black person. Voice. Your voice got more and more demonic the more you do with that impression. Because that's how you... He said, yeah. Yeah, one no. time I got HPV and I gave it to everybody in the house. No, like, the way he... Be, that's how he behaves when he's around black folks. It's like this different side yeah, of Mike saw, pull up. And it's like, yo, my nigga, why, man? If you saw his one-man show, it would make sense. But we love you, dog. I said, like, I actually we excuse yeah. all of that nonsense about you. Nobody yeah. else is doing that. No, dog, they find something bad to say about every black person in power. So as soon as you get right, and we have to either we have to side with them or cut them off. And nine times out of ten, we usually cut them niggas off. They be having, and they don't even be having solid proof. You feel me? We just have to just ride with, like, yeah, man, this nigga be wildin', so we don't fuck with him no more, right? Like, think about it. All our black leaders, Mike did everything them niggas said he did it, and we still fucking with him. Think about it. Remember the, the dude Columbus Short? Yeah. People cut Columbus Short off. And he didn't even do it, it right? <laughs> he got canceled. What? Was, I don't remember what he did. I don't, I don't know think, who Columbus Short I don't is. Think, I don't domestic. think we cut him off. I think the industry just mm. stopped fucking with him, and we yeah. just don't see him no more. I don't know, man, but I'm just domestic. saying. They said it was, I think it was like domestic. It was domestic. He called it domestic. Domestic is bad for me. He got to put the dough on there. <laughs> I know, it's bad funny. <laughs> My son's about the dough. <laughs> this nigga's right. little Kim. Let me I that. love the dough. Let me rephrase that. He was, <laughs> he was being his bishop. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he smacks his bitch up sometimes. Slap the bitch. Oh, that's yeah. wild. You can't be slapping bitches, man. That's why. From time to time. That's why. But I mean, Mike was doing worse. That's what I'm oh, saying. Yeah. Mike was beating bitches and then piping bitches. Like, 110%. Why, like, come on, son. Come on, man. You heard the story about how he almost killed, like, Brad Pitt or some shit? God damn. Oh, yeah. 
Pitt. Yeah. God damn. Yeah, How they Pitt forgive was, him for that? Brad, Brad Pitt, Pitt was, was fucking Robin Gibbons. Yeah. Oh, he, he caught him. his wife, yeah. Seen it happening? Yeah. He came in the crib and Brad Pitt was getting was, dressed and leaving. With the vampire <laughs> from Brooklyn <laughs> shit on still. <laughs> He was in character. Oh shit! But he's white, so maybe you you onto something. And he let him chill. Let me get a picture, Brad. <laughs> like that. No, he said this was before he was Brad Pitt. Nah, he was always Brad Pitt, my nigga. But he said if he's fucking before Robin he Gibbons at the time. Yeah, but before. Think he blew about. Up. Yeah. Just, I'm just saying, my son was always that nigga though. Yeah, of course. From the first role he got. Brad Pitt. He said I hear he, you, but interviews with a vampire is what ninety what? I think it was before that. Time. Yeah. Ninety what? It was eighties. Yeah, I think it was. He said he like chased him down the driveways and shit. Oh, he actually ran after him. Yeah. And Brad did. Yeah. yeah. Yo, now nah, we gotta find this interview. What the fuck? Brad just just ran from this nigga and told people about it? Nah, Brad didn't say it. Oh. Mike Tyson. This was Mike Tyson. Oh, nah, nah, nah. I'm talking about my son Pitt, man. And then yeah, that was... spinning Robin Gibbons is funny. He tried shit. to fight. Funny. He tried to fight Michael Jordan too. Yeah. Over Why? over a girl. I don't know if it's Robin Gibbons or somebody that. Oh, so Robin this nigga hates giving Robin. it up. Yeah, yeah Robin yeah, just be don't. giving shit. That's what I'm saying. How you want Robin be Gibbons? How you want to fight Jordan? Yeah, nah. You gotta leave Mike alone. But that's what I'm saying. Like he does all of this wild shit, and we just forgive him. Yeah. So it's like, how nigga, how no, dare you? But we love, turn, like, we, we love, love winners, Mike. though. Like, yeah. like the nigga just, he's such you a, know, a winner. Like he was so great but, at what he, he does. You know, my problem with Tyson, what? he quit. Literally in the ring, he quit before. Yeah. I mean, he yeah. got he got he knocked out by white niggas and all that though. Too. Yeah. I'd rather get knocked out. Yeah. But he literally said, Nah, I don't want to do this no more. Quit in the ring. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of weak. It's still, it's still, he's still one of the favorites. Not saying yeah. he was quote unquote the best. Skill level because the way um, Lennox beat him, pause. Yeah. It was like really like one sided. After he got out of jail, he was never the same. So. Re regardless, if Mike run up in here right now, it'll look different. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. Very true. So I'm no one's taking shit away from Mike. Oh, mm -hmm. what I'm saying is saying with Lennox though, with Lennox, it was an outclass, right? So you can't say he's the. But who's whose favorite boxer is Lennox Lewis? You, you <laughs> see what I'm saying? Yeah. This nigga's star power is retarded. Maybe. And he was one of the greatest huh? heavyweights. Yeah. One of the fav he's yeah. one of the one most of the favorite fighters yeah. ever. He's one of the greatest yeah. heavyweights. And, and if you watch those fights, he lost by like a landslide. Like mm -hmm. it's not it wasn't close. He looked like he wasn't supposed to be in there with Lennox. Well, he not? was at his peak like okay. It was yeah. he felt unbeatable. So of course, like, and but people but like people look at the people he was, he was knocking out. Yeah. Every time he Are got you? in there with a nigga that could fight it, it was, was different. A, it was a massacre. Lennox at his peak is not many people that's beaten Lennox Lewis. Yeah. But Lennox, I told you that he's he's, he's all six, time four for me. Eight or some shit like that. All time four of heavyweights, right? Four? All top time? four ever. All What's time. your top four? Top four is I, I would have to say Tyson Fury. He's the greatest skilled one. No? And you're doing based on people that you're seeing. Just heavyweights. Right. So you're not counting yeah. like the people like Ali and them from that you never like actually watched. Ali's fight. the he's the greatest or whatever, but he's not more talented than Tyson Fury. You, all right, go ahead, finish it. All right, yeah, yeah no, put me on. Right. Put it. me on. Nah, finish your list. Put me on. Tyson. Mike Tyson is not even. No, Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury. Mike Tyson is is probably he might be four. Okay. Because you got to put Lennox before because Lennox is more skilled. What do you have Holyfield in? Nah, nah, Holyfield wasn't a natural heavyweight. He was too small. Every time he got in there, he was mad good. But he got his ass kicked when he got in there with a nigga that was an actual heavyweight. You remember, Evander Holyfield was 185. Yeah, he was a cruiserweight. Supposed to fight his cruiser. Light heavy, maximum, 205. But, I mean, there was niggas that was in there 260. He was fighting, super, he was fighting super heavies. Anything over 206. 206 and up is heavyweight. It's 206? Yeah, and then it's I super it's heavyweight. It's super, yeah. Lennox, super I mean, heavyweight, you shouldn't even be. Yeah, niggas, it's 300. Have a heart attack. Tua and all of them niggas, you know what I mean? Um, Butterbean. You feel me? Those are Butter huge bean. niggas. Yeah, were. Foreman. I mean, those Foreman are, was a super. Yeah. Those are super heavyweights, were. But no, now, now, um, first couple I'm not fronting on Foreman's like something. I'm not fronting on him. I yeah. He was just, it's the truth. He was outclassed too. But the same you can say as Mike. Mike's still my favorite out of all of them. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about skill level. The skill the level skill. to me, well, nigga, um, Fury got it. My well, nigga. give me a fourth, though, because you got Fury. Fury. You got L Lennox Lewis. You got Mike Tyson. Lewis. Mike is my favorite, but skill is all them niggas. Yeah, I, 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 say, I say um, Evander's even more talented than Mike. Mike is just raw power. Nah, but it's, it's all nah. that skill. He has it, speed. Speed and power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both he gotta, hands. He got to put Defense is retarded. Together. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The combinations, the nigga, yeah, weaving like that. That dog, even walking forward trying to do that shit, you look crazy. Anybody else in the world trying it, it looks nuts. <laughs> Just walking forward, dipping, dipping, dipping like that's mad hard to do. 
And we see people emulate it, it looks weird. It does, there's no other mic. However, I don't feel he's talented like them niggas. Niggas was knocking him out. Buster Douglas Man, was not Mike. knocking niggas out. <laughs> yeah, you heard he said he had herpes going into that fight? Who? Bus? <laughs> no, Douglas? Tyson. Boy? Yeah. He's like, yeah, he had a really bad burn and itch. Jesus, <laughs> no, he's move on, man. See what I'm saying? I bet you it was a black person he said that to. <laughs> My back, spinal. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Y'all remember Prince Nassim? That's yeah. My favorite nigga, I told you that. Oh, you said my that? Favorite oh, nigga. I took a little nap. That's my favorite dude. That was boring me. I've been told you that. <laughs> that's my favorite fight. Nah, he's rather <laughs> skilled. He was really skilled. Prince is the man. Yeah. He got a little, he's a little fat ass nigga. He just running around pause. He's mad chubby now, just playing soccer. And <laughs> Prince Nassim. For real? And they got the crazy, crazy beer <laughs> belly. Nah, hell nah. You bugging. Remember Hector Camacho? Nah. Remember when he got Nas. knocked out? Prince. Oh, yeah. Nigga, he lost one fight. Yeah, really. Yo, nah, but what was the funniest knockout? That is. <laughs> one is not. Because he got up too fast trying to talk shit to the ref and all that fell again. <laughs> I was um, mad at that. Pacquiao y'all getting knocked out by old boy. That was a funny funny. Yeah. Hilarious. Money! Money! When his wife was yelling? But, yeah. um, Barrera? Marquez, no, I mean, Marquez. Uh, Marquez? I was yeah. in Mexico when that it happened. It looked like a, a door opened up in the ring. What she said. <laughs> I, I, I forget the name of the dude. Um,